What I'm doing now is removing some of the yellowed ends of the potato plant. This allows more energy to go back into the actual growth of the potatoes. Sometimes it does that as it starts maturing and drying out. So if you look within your potato plants, any that can be clipped, just remove simply. You can do that. And it puts the energy back. And these are fine to remove. It's not like they're looking healthy on those plants. If you see within here, that's fine to remove. Why waste energy on this when you need it to go back into the plant? So this is your potato crops. They're doing great. Potatoes are growing all underneath. Don't any yellows. Remove them early enough that you get more energy back into the plant. And I realized that one of them started drying out. So I wanted to just check on what's going on, but see, these are actually pretty green. I should have just removed the base ones that are drying. So I will do that for the others. Once you remove it, it puts more energy back into the plant. You could tell that I removed it too early. See all the little baby potatoes that would have come. But because I have a whole bed, I'm kind of checking in, making sure of it. Here's the potatoes that I pulled up right here. Looking beautiful. And I won't go too deep because I don't want to disturb all the others, but I could feel them all. They're all in here. Look at them, beautiful. It's just blooming and blossoming and doing so well. You can see them all in there. They're in their ripening process. And what I pulled today Are all of these girls container worth and this is the second harvest for this week same amount so I'm getting a lot of growth I really believe it is the worm casting and it's natural I don't buy it as long as you have a whole bunch of worms you keep turning that soil over you'll see that when it's brown and then you see the darker brown, and that's the casting. So it's doing great. It's time to remove all bolted crops. It got too hot outside, therefore these crops bolted. And so when you leave them, they end up becoming too bitter. So instead of leaving them, I'm going to remove them and turn over the crops. Compost this, take all the leaves, use them of course. So I have a whole bin of them, which is great. And then you reuse your area. So what I put in are warmer crops. These are eggplant and so we'll leave them to grow. I removed the bolted collards, so I cut them at the base because I believe they will be able to come back later on towards the late fall, early winter. And then instead, of, in this space, I put new crops in, the warm crops. These are eggplant. These were transplanted. I grew them from seed. They were in my basement under lights. So let's hope for them to do well. 
some of the other cold crops are doing just fine so we want to hope that they stay that way lettuce is doing great kale is doing great